arrived at the yard this morning and <laughs> typical Freddy style, I've lost the spurs that I wanted for my brown boots with my brown straps. Um, I don't know where they are, but there you go, we've got some other ones. Bodie is looking ready to go. Hey anyway, mate. So Catherine's plattered him up. First time in his big travel boots. He normally just goes in his, don't you mate? Exercise boots and brushing boots. But those two things are just flat. I'm useless at flat, but Catherine's done. A good job there. So we're going to load up and we're heading to Top Thorn Equestrian Centre today. It's about an hour and a bit from us. So it's early, it's like six, got past six. So yeah, going to head off. I've got two prelims to do with Bodhi. So I need to check over the tests, uh, see if I remember them. And yeah, exciting stuff. His first, his first competition. Uh, I've got some new breeches, jacket bits to show you, super cool. Um, so thank you to Procure for jacket uh, and Express Equine as well. My boots haven't quite come, so we've got to do a, uh, either the brown boots I've got or some older black boots that are a little bit wider at the car. So we'll do a little, a little check to see which ones look better, but that's all to come. It's early now, so I'm gonna get ready and then bring you along for a little bit later. So, we've had an absolute shit show. So I went to Hoyes yesterday, the day before, the day before, and got these, because they look smart for the numbers. And I got one for me, and I got one for Zoe with the bling on the top. But apparently, nowadays, you need two each, but they're only sold in one, so, I'm gonna have to have odd ones, one blingy, one normal, and then either swap the numbers or use like, I don't know, come up with some idea for the other horse. So yeah, it's all going well. I also bought black boots, but I bought one <laughs> trick rider boot and one old dress size boot that doesn't really fit either. So I've got my brown ones as well, but yeah, I don't have my spurs, I couldn't find them. So I've got the Portuguese ones. It's like, are they even dress size legal? I hope so. Could you imagine the first competition I do, I get eliminated for the strong spurs. But hopefully not. We'll wing it together and yeah, this is the reality. The reality of the bar on the scenes, guys. Don't compete. Because then you have to do all the rules that they want you to do, which are shit. It's uh, about half past eight and we've arrived at Top Form. It's nice and quiet today. I've got a couple of entries in the class. So it's a really nice first experience with a horse. Dead quiet, quiet warm up ring. Everything's everything's nice and quiet. So that's the best thing, um, I think, for the first one. Um, we've got an indoor school, so that's cool, even though the weather's decent. Um, so you can't worry too much about that. I'm now gonna go inside the lorry and get ready. I'm on at half nine and 9.47. So I'm going to, um, oh, the brain isn't working this morning. It's too early. Dressage in the morning should be illegal. I need time to wake up and function. Uh, this is my thinking face. I keep looking down because I'm thinking. I, for some reason, I feel like I can't think when I'm looking at the camera. I have to speak. Um, I'm gonna get on at five past nine. So I'm gonna give 25 minutes warm up. Um, he does need a lot. He's got two tests, so yeah. 25 minute warm up and then boom time. Let's go. So I'm gonna get changed now and then show you some of the new outfit I've got actually while we're here. Let's have a look. Uh, so we've got some new gloves from eGlove. So we've got, got some knee gloves from e -Glove. That's um, awesome. I'm probably going to wear these ones today. Uh, the leather ones. Uh, a little bit colder. A show shirt. Uh, so thank you to Picure. Um, show shirt. And then my white 
breeches, perfect. And then in the wardrobe, because I hang it up, because I'm so organized, is, this is the right one, is this the right one? The show jacket, again, from Ikea. So I'll uh, get it on, get dressed. We haven't got our new boots yet. They are on the way, Express Equine are to thank for those new boots that have been designed. So, um. They're on the way, but for now, I'll do my, wear my brown ones, not ideal, but it is what it is. So this video was meant to have sound, but I don't know what happened. I think the microphone was still attached to the phone, but I didn't have it on, like an absolute muppet. So I think I'm saying they might be my lucky socks. New socks from Cool Horse, cool horse Shop. The cool Horse Socks? Cool Horse Socks. So... Put my brown boots on, obviously, because my new black ones haven't come yet. Um, and you can see they're a bit grubby. I don't know why I thought that'd be a good idea. But hey, we'll try and polish them best as possible. And then, of course, I get it all <coughs> on my white breeches. First show, get that shite on my white breeches. And then it's like a situation. Do I try and clean it? Do I not? In this situation, I left it. I was like... You know what? I'm probably going to make it worse. But hey, at least my boots were shiny. So I come outside and Zoe and Catherine are getting Bodhi ready. Catherine's tacked him up. There he is, looking super chill. As per usual, in his fancy rug. Bless him. He does look a bit like a donkey when he does put his ears back there, doesn't he? So he's all ready. Catherine's going to take him for a little walk before I get on. I don't like to get on too early because I just think being a young horse, he'll get tired his physically and mentally. His brain will get tired um, and his body will get tired and then he won't be able to concentrate in the test or have as much energy. So just showing him the arena. It's a nice quiet show, which is perfect for a horse like this with not much experience. Good boy. Feeling a bit fresh, aren't we? A bit fresh. So it's at this moment, I should probably tell you, Bodie was clipped a couple of days before the show. His first ever clip and his first <coughs> ever show. Um, he was feeling a little bit fresh, but it's good. It was nice energy. Um, I had ridden him once with the clip before um, we got there, but obviously that was at home. So rather than just watch a nice montage of Bodhi the whole time, I'm going to explain a little bit the warm-up. So I like to stretch them to begin with, but then not too much because I want them to uh, remember 
the balance points, uh, get them going forward at the new venue. So the first thing, forward, forward, stretch, warm your body up and then keep forward in the frame and just get the balance. The warm up ring is not a place to teach a horse new things. It's just to sort of uh, get the horse going as nicely as possible with what they already know um, and get them doing a lot so I don't have to do so much as the rider as well. Um, he's a little bit slow there, so just getting him more and more in front of the leg. This is his first ever competition, so I can feel him be slightly insecure in moments as well. That canter is absolutely huge, and that's so much smaller than what it used to be when we first started cantering. I like the frame there, I like he's going forward, he's soft, he's not too big, that's nice. There's a lot of balance to do with this horse, you can see he's so big, his movement's so big, so balance is going to take a while for him. And then through the transitions there, just keeping him forward, stopping being hollow. Now for the right rein, the right rein is his weaker rein, so the canter is a bit bigger. Um, I allow it to be a bit bigger because I want him to feel like he can go somewhere and not work harder than what's physically possible at this moment for him. So just trying to keep it together, but keep it forward enough. This arena inside, you'll see in a minute, is really tight. Um, it's still the same size, but because it's indoors, it seems seems super tight. But this moment, he uh, warmed up so well. Nice and forward. I potentially did a little bit too much. Uh, too much warm up, um, but it was our first time. Um, but yeah. What a horse, super concentrated, listening on the aids. But he's definitely a little bit spicier than normal. Interesting. He's never been this spicy before. He's, um, yeah. He wasn't this secure, insecure at um, Gareth's when we went. That was our first stay away. Or like, away doing anything else. That's interesting. Little gobshite. Aren't you, baby? I don't know if that's been caught, but we exited the arena before it even started. You all right? This is interesting. He wasn't like this at Garris, was he? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Because you're not meant to talk, are you? I can't help myself being quiet for three whole minutes. <laughs>
so pleased with how the horse went. You see, there's some baby moments, but how quickly he sort of trusted me. First time in an arena like that, in the situation, in the competition, and he dealt with it all perfectly. Like, he's a young horse and he's allowed to be, but I love the progress. We have finished our test. The boy is a star. The first one was uh, a few mistakes, to be fair. A bit spooky in one of the corners. The usual young horse stuff, but the arena and the wall was really close. You'll see... Um, so he's never done that before, so bless him. And then the second one, much better. Much better walk, wouldn't you, mate? He didn't call, he chilled out. A little bit of hair there. What's going on there? Hat hair. The state there. Um, so, yeah. Now I'm chilling on the lorry. Obviously, he's never done any of this. He's never done the whole wait on the lorry for the other horse to go. Um, so actually, this in itself is part of the education. Learn to stand, eat and chill. So, because other shows, you might be standing on the lorry for a while or a few hours. So, yeah, and he's got his cold bandages on. Keep those legs good. So, yeah, off to watch Zoe now.